congratulations, you become a senior soft engineer. But what is the next step? How can I achieve the next step beyond the senior engineer? Right now, everybody's talking about this stuff plus engineer. However, what does that mean? What's the difference between staff, principal, and senior engineer? Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana, I am software engineer at Nactet. And if you are an engineer who wants to move your career to the next level, to increase your skills in software engineer, to get more effective and more productive, I can help you to become an ultimate sophisticated engineer. So please subscribe to my channel and give the like. When we talk about career path in IT, we have usually two ways to go or to move on to the next level in our career. The first one is move on as a manager, where we need to handle with people, with team, uh, go to several meetings and so on. Because of that, we usually relate a person who stays a senior uh, to move on to the next level, one person that don't need to talk with people. And trust me, it's a mistake. Okay, interactions matters to any path that you go through. Once I mention that, let's talk about the staff plus engineer. A staff plus engineer, as the graph shows, it comes from the Will Larson book that I will mention later, is a position after a senior, and this person wants to stay as engineer. So after senior, the next level is to become a staff, and then principal and finally distinguish. It's important to highlight that IT does not provide any kind of regulation. Because of that, each company might have your own definition of these layers. So staff is one position, it maybe has senior staff, there is also the fellow engineer who can go beyond distinguish and so on. But usually when you talk about staff plus is a professional engineer that goes beyond senior. When we talk about staff plus engineer, we also need to talk about the impact that each layer or each hang has. For example, we have the staff engineer who might impact more the code. So he will impact more teams and find architecture and so on. Then we can move on to the principal engineer where he might or she might impact more the teams, more teams and more the product itself. And finally, the distinguished engineer where this person might impact more the organization itself, the enterprise. So staff, principal and distinguished. As I mentioned before, pay attention in your organization skills and description. So each company might have one different kind of definition. And of course, there are company who has a fellow engineer, so it's a one layer more. And when we talk about IT, it's impossible to one person know a lot of stuff. I mean, I know everything about IT. Come on, it's impossible. And that's why right now everybody's talking about this T-shaped skill. The main point here is I get my speciality and I know broadly some topics. Furthermore, the key for me is not about what you know, but about what you don't know. Why? Because we need to fill up this gap on collaborative mode. For example, if I know a lot about Java and architecture and I'm designing a mobile application where it has a backend and a mobile. I need to work on a collaborative way with somebody who knows mobile to help me to achieve that result. Again, T-shaped skill is you have your speciality and you know broad about several topics. Furthermore, we need to know who knows that better than you to work in your organization in a better way. 
and be of course more effective. Okay, do you want to know more about Staff Plus Engineer? Here I come with two amazing books, okay? The first one is Will Larson book, uh, Staff Engineer, The Leadership Beyond the Mental Track. As I said, the title is enough to explain that you will become a leader inside the organization. It's not only the code anymore, it's interaction, as the agile methodology said. We need to interact with more people. In this book, Will Larson explains more about why, how, and imagine right now that we want to move on to the next level of your career. Will Larson has several archetypes like the architect, the tech lead, the right hand, and so on. It's a good book to understand how to apply, how to implement in your organization, your company, if your company does not have one. The next one here is Tanya Books, The Staff Engineer Path. It's a great book. I enjoy a lot, especially because if you are a staff engineer, this book will give you tips and several ideas how to move on and get more effective inside a staff engineer path. It mentioned the culture, organization, how to be and the behavior inside the meetings and so on. Uh, my recommendation is start with the real awesome one and then move on to the Tanya's book, okay? Hopefully you enjoyed this video and please let me know uh, do you want to stay as an expert and engineer? Are you a staff engineer already? Uh, do, do you have read these books? What do you feel, your thoughts? Please let me know and see you soon in the next video. Bye!